Guys, guys, you're not gonna believe it. Today, I'm taking delivery of a Bugatti Devo to my house. Just like Mo Vlogs. Guys, if you haven't seen the previous video, click up here because it won't make any sense unless you watch the other video about Mo Vlogs taking delivery to my house. Yes, guys, it's the Bugatti Devo. There's only like two or three, but, but I'm taking delivery for sure. And it's three million euros at least, and it has a lot of horsepower. So I'm taking delivery of the third Bugatti Devo today. Yes, I'm not lying. Okay, so it's not actually my Devo, it's my friend's Devo, but we're taking delivery of his because he, well, I can't really show too much of it, so, but guys, let's just go out to the trailer. You, you're not gonna believe it. Let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. Can you tell how excited I am? It's a Bugatti Devo to my house. Guys, guys, check it out. It's coming, the trailer is coming down the street. Check it out. Whoa, 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 oh my God. Dude, guys, you won't believe it. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm not lying. Guys, can you believe it? It's a Fiesta ST. Whoa, oh my God. Okay, okay, I was just, I was just trolling you because I don't have the Devo yet. It's still coming on the trailer and, okay, hey Ryan, do I need to like stand closer to the car or, or, uh, a little closer, okay. Oh, I'm not, I'm not flexing hard enough. I need, you, I'm, you're saying I need to flex harder? Okay, hang on. Is that, is that good now? I'm not lying. Guys, bro, I was just trolling you in that last one. I didn't actually take delivery of that Fiesta ST. I mean, no rich person would drive a Ford Fiesta. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm actually taking delivery of. It's a Liberty Walk Audi RS5 Coupe. And we say Coupe because that sounds like more elite and stuff. And you can't get a Coupe in North America. It's not even possible. It's so exclusive. Oh my God, let me tell you. And it costs $200,000 and it has 515 horsepower. Oh my God, can you believe it? Am I, Ryan, am I close? Am I touching the car? Am I close enough? Is it I'm good? It right now. I'm touching, oh shoot. I'm not enough clout. I need more clout. <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> here, here. Wait, wait, more. No, 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 you gotta move over your head. Your arm is in the car. <laughs> oh, okay, more, okay, fine. More clout, more clout. Is that, here. Just take, take, it, take it, take it. Okay guys, I was, I was just kidding. This isn't the Devo and now we're gonna take delivery of the Devo. Guys, this is the AMG GT. It costs $300,000. Oh my God. Check out this amazing blue paint job. Oh, it's so luscious. Okay, check out this blue paint. Oh my God. I can't believe the color of this blue and oh, these rims. Look at these rims. Whoa. Whoa, dude, dude, I can't believe it, oh my God. Oh, not, more clout? Here, let's just give you this, take this, here, just, 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 just take it all, just take it all, just take it all, all right. Is that, is that enough money in the app? It's not enough money? That's, that's all we got, no Devo? No, not enough, we, it was like $25. I spent $25 on that app and I can't get the Devo? What the hell? What kind of app is this? What kind of VR is this? What kind of fake world are we living in that we can't buy a fake car and like have some clout for $25? That's all I got. Ah. Guys, let me show you the interior. It's so beautiful. It's black leather with blue pinstriping. Let me show you. Oh, check out the steering wheel. Check out this beautiful leather interior. Oh, it's amazing. Can you believe the workmanship? Of this costs an extra $130,000 because it gives me more clout. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, check out the steering wheel. Check out this beautiful leather interior. Oh, it's amazing. It's like it's, I open the door, like no one opens the door. <laughs> right. I mean, when you mention interior, the door opens. <laughs>
<laughs> so unfortunately we couldn't get a Bugatti Devo because I didn't want to spend more than $25 on this app. It's called CSR2. I'm going to show you in just a second. So this is actually some really cool AR technology. It's augmented reality. And this is what Movlogs did to take delivery of a Bugatti Devo in my house, of course. So let's check out this app. It's actually super cool. So here's the car. Let's close the doors because, you know, we don't want anybody, some homeless people like, oh, there's <laughs> going in the car. <laughs> so there it is. So it's actually pretty, it's pretty neat stuff. This app is called CSR Racing 2, and I managed to spend about 20 bucks and got a couple different cars. So I've got this Ford Fiesta over here. And it's cool, you just tap on it and the door opens. And then if you do this, you can place, it scans it, and then it can place the car. And it's a miniature right now, but if I go real world, whoa, there it is. And we can do outdoors, which makes it look a little more realistic. We can do overcast, which is what we got right now. And, you know, I just, I like this part so much where you can just open the car. I think it's pretty amazing that technology exists that you can do this kind of stuff. By the way, not sponsored at all. I have no relationship with this game or anything. I just wanted to basically show how you can get clout for about the cost of an iPhone and $25 in cars. I could have taken delivery of that Fiesta ST for free. People are able to, they, they want to flex so hard that they need to fake a car on screen to show how relevant they are by taking delivery of a Bugatti Devo or whatever it is by using their iPhone or some similar technology. And so, I mean, there's a couple amazing things happening here. One is the amazing technology in phones right now that you've got AR, VR, and it looks pretty realistic. Obviously, we didn't spend a lot of time making this as elaborate as it you know, could have possibly been. But then you've got characters like Movlogs. And again, no disrespect towards Movlogs. If you like Movlogs, that's totally cool. It's just that he's having one on you. He's taking delivery of a fake car that doesn't exist. Not a big deal. There's a lot worse things that go on in social media, but he is lying to his fans. And I think that's just not, I don't really agree with that. I don't, don't think it's the way to go. I think he could have done a funnier video. He could have taken delivery of the Devo and shown how he did it. That would have been maybe even more awesome, but instead, you know, he wants to take delivery of a fake car, but it is what it is. So I'm on Instagram and I talk with a lot of really, really excellent, amazing 3D render artists who do these incredible renders of the Toyota Supra, for example, and they do these fantasy body kits. And so I've been chatting with them about what Mo did in his video and they all 100% agree that this is absolutely a render. It's not that great when you zoom in. And if you look at the Devo, the hood lines where the, the hood would open are apparently missing in the render. So it's just pretty realistic at first. And I definitely want to thank the person on Instagram who pointed this out to me. I forget your name, but thank you so much for pointing out this video. That was around the most fun I've had making a video in a long, long time. And I got back inside and I just wanted to point out a couple other things with respect to the car in Moe's video being a render. And so I took a closer look at the render and I took a closer look at one of the, perhaps actually the first production car that some lucky photographer found in France. It's up on screen over here. I'm gonna put it up full screen right now. And if you look down on the center, you can see the hood. The hood, of course, has cut lines where the hood opens up, or the frunk, whatever you wanna call it. Now in Movlogs, let me refer you back to the video that I did last time where I superimposed the official press photograph of the car on the top of the screen and on the bottom of the screen you've got Movlogs. Now you can see there's no cut lines for the hood in the Movlogs car. Also something I noticed is that there should be a reflection, the car on the left should have a reflection of the Devo in it on the front fender, but in fact it doesn't. You can see that it's got some sort of reflection of the pillars. Now Movlogs didn't do a bad job with the render. If you look at the windshields of the three cars, you can see the reflection moves from side to side of part of the house in each of the three windshields. So I think that's pretty good at superimposed. But again, looking at the cut lines of the hood, that's kind of an issue. And also when you turn the wheels from side to side in a car, they don't stay perfectly vertical like this. They actually tilt over a little bit to aid in reducing the turning circle of a car. That's intentional. In this car, on the render, they are perfectly vertical as far as I can tell. So to be super, super, super clear to anybody that saw the last video and said, hey, it was his friend's car, I don't believe that for one second. It's definitely, definitely a render. There's just too many things wrong with it. Mo never got it off the trailer. 
he doesn't get he doesn't cross the car at all which i think i did a couple of times here uh, he blurs out the car when he's super close up to it i shot the video outside on my iphone and so the quality wasn't that good and you can see the camera was hunting back and forth you can take care of that obviously i don't know if he shot it on an iphone but there's just a lot of problems with that video if you like cars like the C8 Corvette, for example, which is a real car, which is going to be released on July 17th, I'm going to be at the reveal for that. I'll be streaming on Instagram. You can chat with me there. There's also a couple of videos up on screen right now, and I would definitely want to thank my Patreons who help me go to events like the C8 Corvette reveal. My name is Eric. I will see you in the next video.